The Contemporary Art Center is a contemporary art museum in Cincinnati, Ohio and one of the first contemporary art institutions in the United States. The CAC is a non-collecting museum that focuses on new developments in painting, sculpture, photography, architecture, performance art and new media. Focusing on programming that reflects the art of the last five minutes, the CAC has displayed the works of many now famous artists early in their careers, including Andy Warhol. In 2003, the CAC moved to a new building designed by the late Zaha Hadid. The Contemporary Arts Center was founded as the Modern Art Society in 1939 by Betty Polak Ra, Patty Frank Crawford, and Rita Rentschler Cushman. These three women were able to raise enough money through donations to display modern art at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Early advice and encouragement was offered by both Edward M. M. Warburg, a friend of the Polak family, as well as Alfred H. Barr. The Society's very first exhibit, Modern Painting from Cincinnati Collections, opened in December of the same year. In 1954 the Modern Art Society adopted its current name, the Contemporary Arts Center. The name change coincided with the creation of two permanent galleries that were remodeled from part of the museum's lower level. These two spaces, designed by Carl Strauss and Ray Rausch, consisted of about 900 square feet each and featured movable wooden wall covers. Many local Cincinnati collections were shown in this space, including works now kept at the Cincinnati Art Museum from the Mary E. Johnston Collection. Construction on the Emory Wing at the Cincinnati Art Museum replaced the original space of the CAC. As a result of the museum's need to expand, the center moved out in 1962 and temporarily inhabited various locations at the Taft Museum of Art. Space at 608 Main Street and the Carew Tower. In 1964 the center occupied the fourth floor of the Women's Exchange Building at 113 West 4th Street where it remained for six years. After two years on 4th Street the center announced that it had plans to move to the Mercantile Center on 5th Street, which opened in 1970. The new building cost $400,000 and was designed by Harry Weiss. The CAC space covered about 12,000 square feet and overlooked the new bus terminal in downtown Cincinnati. Despite early financial troubles in 1971, the CAC was able to put on over 400 exhibitions during its 30-year stay on Government Square. A permanent lease for the location was acquired in 1982 through a city bond. Early proposals for a new home began at the end of the 1980s and included possible locations at the Ohio Mechanics Institute and the Aronoff Center. Later, as the idea of constructing an entirely new building became possible, the CAC focused on the site at 6th and Walnut. By 1997 the Center's Architectural Selection Committee was publicly seeking architects to design the CAC's first free-standing building. The search narrowed 97 statements of qualification to 12 semi-finalists, Coop Himmelblau, Diller, and Scofidio, Herzog and Demuren, Stephen Hall. Rem Koolhaas, Eric Owen Moss, G. Nouvelle, Toyo Ito, Antoine Predoc, Zaha Hadid, Daniel Liebesgint, and Bernard Chumi. One year later the board granted the commission to Zaha Hadid. Construction began in 2001 and the new building opened on May 31, 2003. In March 2008, the Contemporary Arts Center announced the exhibition and auction form, Contemporary Architects at Play. Participating architects included, Christie's Fine Arts Division sold eight pieces and one concept at auction raising $425,000. In March 2011 the Laminex Group brought the collection to New Zealand for the Auckland Arts Festival and invited New Zealand architects and design professionals to submit entries for a New Zealand collection. The domestic competition was entitled Formica Formations. Queenstown designer Graham Roebuck of Structural Integrity Limited won the professional category and Auckland Unitech student Norman Lynn, the emerging designer category. In 1990, a Cincinnati jury acquitted the Contemporary Arts Center and its director, Dennis Perry, of obscenity charges stemming from an exhibition of photographs by Robert Mapplethorpe. In the first criminal trial of an art museum over the contents of an exhibition, the case centered on 7 out of 175 photographs in an exhibition that traveled. From Berkeley to Boston, five of the seven photographs depicted men in sadomasochistic poses and were the basis of charges that the museum and its director had pandered obscenity. Much of the dispute over the Mapplethorpe photographs centered on whether federal money should be used to finance them, through the National Endowment for the Arts. If convicted, the center would have faced fines of up to $10,000, Barry could have faced a year in jail and fines up to $2,000. The trial was chronicled in the 2000 television movie Dirty Pictures. 44 East 6th Street, 
Cincinnati, Ohio 45202 across Walnut Street from the Aronoff Center for the Arts in downtown Cincinnati's cultural and entertainment area known as the Backstage District. In 2003, the CAC moved to its first freestanding home which was designed by Zaha Hadid. The CAC chose to honor two of its major donors by naming the building the Lois and Richard Rosenthal Center for Contemporary Art. The Rosenthal Center for Contemporary Art was Zaha Hadid's first American project. Hailed by the New York Times architecture critic Herbert Muschamp as the most important American building to be completed since the Cold War, the project was the brainchild of director Charles Desmarais. The building's footprint is 11,000 square feet, with a total area of 80,000 square feet on seven floors. The project cost $34 million, with design features including urban carpet, jigsaw puzzle, and skin-slash-sculpture. Thanks for watching.